Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Project SPC here to give you a review of the Syntec eKey to NVMe adapter. So the big questions are, how well does this perform on the Latte Fan Alpha, and should you buy this? In this review, I'll go over the product itself, do some benchmarks, and some boot time testing. Let's go over the product first. You can find this on Amazon and eBay for around $20. Uh, it's going to ship from China and will take a couple weeks to get to the U.S. It's got three parts, the A slash E key adapter, a ribbon cable joining both ends. It's about 20 centimeters long and we have the NVMe SSD holder on the far end. The manufacturer makes a couple of specific conditions for this to work. They say it has to be Windows 10. Only some computers will accept storage from an A slash E key and only a handful of SSDs were tested, so your mileage may vary. Let's go ahead and install this on the Latte Panda Alpha. So the first thing you're gonna notice is there isn't a mounting hole to secure this down. It's gonna spring up every time you let go of it. So I designed and 3D printed a holder. You can find a link to this in the description below. And there we go. It's nice and tight. On the benchmark side, I tested the Samsung on both the E and M key. The only noticeable difference in performance was on the high Q depth sequential transfer test, where the E key saw about a 55% loss. This put the E key around the one PCIe lane limit, indicating it probably only uses one lane. Other than that, the Samsung performed comparably on all the other tests between keys. Moving on to boot times, there really wasn't that much difference between the two keys. At worst, the E key saw a two second delay. And in Windows performance, there really wasn't that much user feel difference between the two, unless you're gonna be transferring huge files. In conclusion, what impact does using the E key compared to the M key have? Well, for large transfers, you might notice it takes a little bit longer if you are used to a four lane NVMe drive. For everyday activities like using it as a boot drive, browsing the web, playing games that aren't several gigabytes in size, you probably won't notice much if any difference. So is it worth buying? It depends. If you have a single board computer where storage is limited and needing an additional SSD, this is an excellent solution. For Latte Panda Alpha users, if you wanted to free up your M key for something else like a GPU but don't want to sacrifice your SSD, this is your solution. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you want to see me build a super small form factor gaming PC with a Latte Panda Alpha, hit subscribe and stay tuned.